Hello my beautiful pupperoos, my name is Taylor, it is so wonderful seeing you here today. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the best settings for no lag in The Sims 4. I'm going to give you a lot of tips on things you can do to improve your frame rate, whether that be through changing some computer settings or settings in the actual game. I've actually recorded pretty much this exact video before, but that was like four years ago when I just created this channel, but I literally didn't even own a microphone yet, and like, it's just overall a pretty terrible video, so I just needed to make an updated one, okay? I know that I can do better now. <laughs> But this video is essentially going to be split into two main sections. The first is going to be just um, like settings and things you can change with your computer in general, like just computer settings. I don't know why I said that's so weird. And the second part is going to be the in-game settings. I will leave timestamps in the description if you guys want to jump around to different parts of the video. Just a quick disclaimer, we're obviously going to be messing with some settings in this video. If you change a certain setting and you're computer seems to be having issues, obviously you can always just revert the changes. Just change them back to what they were before so you don't face those issues. But that's enough rambling, let's finally get into the video. Okay, so the first section is going to be the computer settings. I do want to say that I use Windows. Most of these are more like for Windows or like what I'm going to show you is on a Windows computer, obviously. I know some of those settings will work for both. I just can't show you any of the Mac settings in this video. Okay, first off, if you were playing on a laptop, it's a very good habit to always keep it plugged in when you're playing games. This will just help increase your FPS and therefore decreasing the amount of lag that you experience. If your computer can handle it, I would recommend that you change your power options to be more focused on performance. To do this, you're going to need to open up the control panel. I'm just going to search for it, it's just easier this way. You're going to want to click on system and security here, then find power options, which should open this window here. If you've never messed with any of these settings, the balanced plan will probably be selected for you, but you just want to change this to high performance. Once you select that option, you can just close this window and you're all set. Another thing that can help your game's performance is to close all other apps and basically just make sure that nothing but The Sims 4 is open and running when you're playing. This includes any web browsers, the EA app, Spotify, whatever. You also want to make sure that nothing unnecessary is running in the background too. You can do that by clicking on the little arrow here and then closing any applications that are not necessary. While we're talking about background apps, you should also just turn off all of them in your settings. To do this, go ahead and open up your settings go to privacy and scroll down until you find background apps. All of these apps aren't totally necessary. You don't need them constantly running in the background. I would just recommend switching this off to disable all of them. While we have settings open, we might as well go over all of the other stuff in here too. So Windows actually has a setting that will optimize your PC specifically for gaming. To find it, from here you'll have to go to the home screen, click on gaming, and then click on game mode. Now, I do want to add that depending on your computer, this might not actually do anything. You'll just have to try it and see if it works for you. I always have it on personally, but again, just test out your games with it on and off and obviously just have it set to whatever works best for you. Okay, but moving on. On this window, you should see an option to the right. It may also be below depending on your window size, but you should see graphics settings. Go ahead and click on that. So we already switched the power mode to be high performance, but you can actually change that setting for the specific games you play as well. So what you're going to do is click on browse and you're going to want to locate your Sims 4 game. Now, this is not going to be in your documents folder, like where you download mods and everything. This is not the same folder. You will need to locate the actual application. To find it, you want to check both of these program files folders for an EA games folder. Once you find it, there should be a Sims 4 folder. Go ahead, open that. 
Scroll down until you find the game folder. Open the bin folder and here you are. Go ahead and click on this option here. If you use the legacy edition of the game, I think that yours will only say TS4. It won't have the X64 on the end here. But once you click on the application, go ahead and click add. Then go to options and change it to high performance. Make sure you click save. Okay, but with all of that out of the way, it's finally time to open up The Sims 4 and move on to the in-game settings. Okay, so once you've loaded up your game, you'll want to open up your game options like so. Okay, but before we get into the actual graphic settings, I wanted to mention something that will actually reduce the amount of time that your game takes to start up. This is only if you have custom content or mods. If you don't use mods in CC, just skip this. But if you do use custom content, while in the game options, you want to go to the other tab. On this screen, you should see an option to view custom content. Go ahead and click on that. My game is going to take some time to load them all because I have a lot of mods so uh, just be patient. <laughs> okay but once it opens you want to find the show it startup option at the bottom here. Basically just make sure that this is turned off. You do not want this on at all. Before I knew about this option, my game would take so long to start up simply because it was trying to load all of my mods and CC in this nice little list for me. If you guys do want to see this list, just open it through your settings like we just did. Don't have it set to show up at startup. I beg of you. Your game will start up so much faster. But once you disable that option, you can click OK, apply the changes and go back to the graphics tab. Okay, so in the graphics tab, there are two different sections, a display section on top and a graphics section on the bottom. Honestly, the main setting here that will make the biggest difference in my opinion is making sure that the display type here is set to windowed. Playing any game in full screen will always have an effect on your FPS. I've never really played anything in full screen mode. I think my computer would actually blow up if I tried to. But once you change it to windowed mode, click apply changes and then click OK. Now you can actually change the size of your window. Just adjust the size by dragging the corners of the window around until you find something that you like. The smaller your window is, the faster your game will run. Theoretically, making your window like the smallest it can be will make your game run insanely fast. But like, how do you even actually play the game? Like, I can't see anything, anything that's happening right now. Like, I cannot read any of the small text. Like, it's, I could never actually play my game like this. It would just never work. You need to find a balance. Okay, but once you're done messing with your window size, you can go ahead and open up a save, create a new one, whatever, just load up the actual game to test out and see how all of the settings have impacted your game so far. But just play around with your sims for a little bit and just like see how your game is running. Okay, if your game is still lagging, it's time to mess around with your actual graphics settings. Now, this is probably going to be very time consuming, but it will be worth it in the end. Basically, you're just going to want to mess around with stuff and see what works best for you and your computer. Although I can't really give you the exact settings that you should set your game to to optimize performance, I do still have a few tips. First off, you will notice that there are pre-made graphic quality options here. I very, very strongly recommend that you do not just click on one of these and call it good. They are good like starting points, but please, I beg you to mess with these settings individually to get the best performance. Unfortunately, you might have to sacrifice some of your graphics to have a better game performance. Try to basically just like decide what is most important to you. Do you want your sims or your objects to look better? Do you care about the visual effects? Whatever. If you notice that you don't really care about objects, for example, go ahead and turn that option down. Two things. 
things. Objects generally have a bigger impact on your graphics card than your sims. So if you have objects set to a higher setting and your sims set to low, you may have more lag than if you had sims set on high and objects on low, if that makes sense. But the second thing, the lighting option here, it really makes your game look so, so gorgeous. But I've found that it also really makes your game lag like crazy. Personally, I am able to run my game with everything but lighting set to high. If I even thought about changing my lighting just to medium, my game would instantly start lagging. But that may just be something to take into consideration. Again, it will take a while, but I would change a few things, apply the changes, and then restart your game to see how it runs and everything. Then, if necessary, just keep changing things and restarting your game repeatedly until you find the perfect settings for your game. Things I would suggest lowering are definitely lighting, obviously, um, reflections, Something you should probably always have increased, or at least I would recommend always having high, is edge smoothing and view distance. I also really wouldn't go too low with sims or objects either, as they also make your game look a lot better. If you find that you have to have everything on the lowest setting and your game is still lagging, I would try turning off the uncompressed sim textures and the post-processing effects options. You can also turn on laptop mode. If after all of that, your game is still lagging, it might be time to go through your mods folder and clean it out. Just delete some of the broken stuff or the old stuff you might not want in your game. If that doesn't help, you might actually just have to make some sacrifices and delete the stuff you do like in order for your game to run better. I actually have a video on a very easy way to find and delete custom content. I will leave a link in the eye right now if you guys want to check it out. I also have other videos about making your game run faster and smoother with a few more tips as well. If you're interested, those two videos will also be linked in the eye. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly hope that it was able to help you. If you are having any issues whatsoever, please let me know in the comments and I will try my best to help you out. I'm not the most uh, skilled, but I can definitely still try to help. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, hitting the subscribe button, as well as the bell so you never miss another video. I love you all so, so much. Bye, guys!